Hello guys, Mars Freeman's here. Gaia 2.0 actually works very well with Unreal Engine if you add some sort of auto material with it. So I created a personal tool that now I decided to share with any paid tier, Patreon or YouTube member. So I just wanted to go quickly over it and show you how you can customize it for your project. So the project is just going to come with a basic Unreal Engine setup. So if you want to use this in your project, all you need to do is go to Edit, Plugins, Search for Biome Core, enable these two plugins, restart the engine, and then just copy this to your project. So it comes with a very simple uh, showcase map. It's I have kept it very basic, just so you can understand what's happening here, so we can have like the grasslands and all that. But now I'm just gonna switch to the other map and I can show you how you can just easily use it in your project. So let's say we you have your empty map where you have set, set up to your biomes, like you have grass, all that, and you're using, for example, like my material. So if you're using my material, it's very, very simple. It just gets the rocks, grass, snow, and all that. And when you're switching to paintable mode, it's like the edit mode, it just applies the biome colors. But you can set up anything like that for any auto material and actually works super good with that MW auto material, I can show you in a second how you can use that one in your project. So when you open your project, uh, here first thing you're going to assign two materials. The first one is going to be the landscape material, so this is basically this one, and the other is the capture material. So only difference is, as I showed you, is it's enabled the painting mode, so whenever you apply this material, and if we put this one, all it does, it just switches to color. So you're going to need something like this. You can use mine. Uh, I can show you in a second how you can use that MW auto material. If you're using something else, then you're going to need to set it up yourself, but it's very, very easy. Set some kind of switch and just create two materials. So it's very easy. You're just going to switch it here uh, to any material. I'm going to show you in a second. So to get started, uh, you're going to open up the folder, going to go to UI, and there is this scene capture widget. You're just going to make a right click and click run utility widget. It's going to open up here. And so the, all the magic going to happen from here. So first thing you're going to need to do is set the landscape size. If you're exporting from the Gaia, it's super easy. All you need to do is enter exactly the same thing that you have in, set in your export settings. So you go to the project, build settings, terrain, and whatever width you have set. In my case, it's set to 5,000. So you're just going to set 5,000. If you have like any other number, that's what you're going to set there. If you're not using Gaia, you can just guess. You can get just your number by putting a plane. For example, this water plane is exactly the same size as the landscape. And if we go to the scale, it's also 5,000. So if you know the scale, good. If not, then with the plane, you can actually very easy get the correct scale. So all you're going to need to do is put here 5,000. In for example, in my case, then we're going to click set landscape size. And then we're going to click generate asset. So it's going to create biome core, scene capture, and one and one biome in case this is going to be forest as an example. And I'm going to show you how you can add more. And then what we need to do is click capture landscape biome colors. So make sure before that select these materials, that landscape material and the capture material. So if I click this, bam. And now what I can do is click generate PCG. And now we can see that our forest biome is set. And so basically it uses exactly the same setup as biome core is using. So for example, if you click the forest, we have our def definition. If you open it up, that's where we are setting up the for like biome name and the biome color. So in this case, it's green as it was set up in the material right here. And then it uses the assets if you open up. And then we have biome assets and I have a three here. We can switch up to anything you want. So the more in detail how to use the biome core, I have a tutorial about it. So just this is just briefly going over how you how it's integrates very well with biome core pl plugin. And then I have here into the PCG, I have other ones. I have a few other examples if you want to use. For example, I have shore. So I just can drop it in and I can drop it in, let's say underwater. Let's drop it in, then we can click clear PCG and again, we can regenerate. So now we can see that we not only have trees, we have some rocks here and some, some extra grass now in the underwater. And it's all just based on regular PCG biome setup. 
And again, just the whole magic comes from when we are clicking this uh, capture landscape, it just applies this capture material and it just creates a texture with the colors. So whenever you're setting your biomes, again, if we go to the forest, we can see for the forest, we have set the green and then for the shore, we have set the yellow and all that. So again, I have detailed tutorial more how to use Biome Core plugin. And as I said, it works actually really well with MW landscape material. As I said, you can switch here landscape materials. So for example, so when you go open up your landscape, MW landscape material, you're just going to go to materials, landscape and take one of the examples. For example, in my case, I was using um, the island example, make it two copies of it and um, put it in the folder and here, so again, one of them right here, you can see it's assigned. It's island with the debug off and the other material is going to be island debug with the debug on. And so what this debug material does, I'm just going to clean again PCG. If we switch these materials, we can see all it does, it gives, uh, let's hide the water. Let's hide the water too. So all it does, it's again gives the biome colors that we can use again together with the PCG biome core. So we can see the grass is again, the forest part is green. So we could see that the rock part is red and then the sand, like the shore and underwater is blue. So we can see that they work very, very well and you don't need to use my basic uh, auto material. You can use this one together with that and it's very, very easy. So you don't, get, you don't need to go through that whole process where you need to calculate and set up each time, like, you know, for each project, the texture sizes and scale, uh, this biome core and scale everything else. So all you need to do is really, it makes it very easy. Just set the landscape size, uh, switch materials. If you want to use something different, like let's say this auto material or something else and just generate assets, recapture this, and then we can just generate and clear PCG. So we're very easy set up. So you can download it on the Patreon. It's going to be a Patreon post. It's also going to be in a YouTube as a member post. And as always, it's also going to be available in the Discord. So probably the best place to check it out is on the Discord for the special member section. There's going to be a download section, so you can just check it out. And as always, if you have any issues or any questions, you can post into the member section and I'm going to help you to figure out like how to integrate better in your project. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.